Welcome back from an ad break. So now you're continuing to our application questions. So let's start. So now we are given that the substances placed on the right hand side of the arrow in a chemical equations are, in a chemical equation are called. Remember, just a general equation we have substance and these two they are going to react together to form the products. So if these are written on the left-hand side of the equation or of the arrow, what are they called? And if they're written on the right-hand side of the, of the arrow, what are they called? So the question is asking the substances that are placed on the right-hand side, so these ones, the right-hand side of the arrow in a chemical equation, what are they called? Before they react and then they produce something. So what is produced is the product. So therefore, the substances are called the products. So the answer is D. Which of the following is not the result of a chemical reaction? So when we're having this general reaction, what is it that is not likely to be the result of this particular chemical reaction? We know that uh, when we are reacting hydrogen plus oxygen, we are going to produce our H2O, which is water. So the formation of water is, is actually a result of a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Then compounds. We also know that this H2O, it is a compound. So we can form a compound from a chemical reaction. So that is true. And then now the mixture and also the formation of ethanol. With this one, we know that we produce ethanol when we are undergoing the process of fermentation. When we're taking glucose and fermenting at glucose, we are producing ethanol and carbon dioxide. So therefore, mixture is not a likely product to be produced from a chemical reaction. Remember that mixtures, they are not chemically bonded, whereas all of these things, they are chemically bonded because they undergo a chemical reaction. So the answer is C for mixture. Next one, we need to fill in the blanks now and just, they are just testing us now to see if we know what we say we know. Question one, a chemical reaction is represented by, so what represents a chemical, a chemical reaction? So to represent a chemical a reaction, we need to use a chemical equation. So a chemical reaction is represented by a chemical equation. Number two, the products formed in the fermentation process of glucose are and something. We know that when, when glucose is fermented, they produce ethanol. Remember, ethanol is the alcohol. So you produce ethanol and carbon dioxide. So therefore, the products that are produced or that are formed in the fermentation process, we have ethanol and carbon dioxide. Then number three, something is an example of a useful chemical reaction. So the question is, the answer to this question is within the questions that are already asked to us. We know that a fermentation is an example of a useful chemical reaction that is used to produce ethanol, which is alcohol, and carbon dioxide. So therefore, the answer to this question is fermentation. So fermentation is an example of a useful chemical reaction. And also the souring of milk is also part of the useful uh, chemical reactions. Next question. When hydrogen and oxygen are chemically bonded, they form water. So we are saying that when hydrogen which has a chemical symbol of H. Remember, it's a diatomic molecule. We write it as H2 if it is not bonded with anything. In a chemical bond or in a compound, it doesn't have to be H2. It will depend on what it is bonded with. So it's H2, and then same applies to the oxygen. It is a diatomic molecule on its own. It is written as O2. In a chemical bond, depending on what it is bonded with, that subscript is going to change. So when hydrogen and oxygen are chemically bonded together, they form water. Remember that water 
is your H2O. That's now the bond between the H2 and the O2. Question now is, write this reaction as a word equation and show by means of a, draw, of a drawing how this will look. Word equation, what, does that, uh, what, what is that asking us to do? Writing an equation using these weights that we have here and water. So hydrogen is reacting with oxygen. If it's reacting, it is a plus sign to separate the two reactants. Hydrogen plus oxygen It is going to react to form. Remember the arrow shows that it reacts to form water and our water is your H2O. So if you wanted to use the chemical symbol, you can still do that to say now that this is your H2 plus O2 reacting to form H2O. Again, you notice that on this reaction, the number of atoms on, of both the hydrogen and oxygen are not equal on both the right-hand side and the left-hand side. As I've said, we are still going to deal with the balancing of chemical reactions. Now, we now need to complete this question by drawing to show how this is going to look like. So ox a hydrogen, firstly, is a diatomic molecule. Remember, it's two hydrogen atoms chemically bonded together, plus... Same thing, two oxygen atoms chemically bonded together and they react to form one water, one molecule of water. So we have our A, oxygen, together with our hydrogens there. So the this one, it is going to be, so we can use bigger circles to show what we have. So this is going to be our hydrogen, our hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen, and remember H2O. One needs to be the oxygen, this one is going to be the oxygen, chemically bonded to an H and another H to show that it is our H2O. So to make the distinction between our hydrogen and oxygen, we're just going to color them to show that this is our hydrogen, and also our other hydrogen. Remember, it's a diatomic molecule. And then it is going to bond with oxygen to form H2O. And this is going to be our two hydrogens there and there. So the product formed here is going to be our diatomic, it's going to be our water H2O. So now our next question is based on a particular chemical reaction. Now let's see what the question is asking. So we need to answer the following questions about this unbalanced chemical reaction. So we have B plus Cl2 reacting to form BCl3. Give the chemical formula of the product. So from this particular reaction we know, or on any other reaction we know that the reactants are written on the left hand side, whereas the products are written on the right hand side. So the products for this reaction would be your B, C, L, Three. Remember capital letter B, capital letter C, small letter L with the subscript of three. B, question B, how many atoms of boron and chlorine are, are on the left-hand side of the reaction equation? So left-hand side, they are talking about the reactants. So here, when we're looking at, this, at these reactants here, how many atoms of boron and how many atoms of chlorine do we have? With, with, the, with, with the boron, we only have one boron. And then with the chlorine, remember the subscript, this number here at the bottom or below the chemical symbol shows how many atoms of that particular element that we have or that particular atom that we have. So we have two chlorine atoms. So we have two chlorine atoms. So it's one boron atom and two chlorine atoms. Two chlorine atoms. Our next question, still based on this unbalanced chemical reaction, we are supposed to fill in the gaps. The question is saying there are or there is a certain number of atoms of boron and a certain number of atoms of chlorine on the right hand side of the reaction equation. Our task is to calculate and determine the number of borons on the right hand side and the number of chlorines on the right hand side. So boron, 
How many on the right hand side now they are referring to the products? How many borons do we have? It is only just the one boron. And then how many chlorines do we have? That is determined by the subscript. So we have three chlorine, uh, so it's one boron and three chlorine atoms. So it's three chlorine atoms. So there is one atom or atoms of boron and three atoms of chlorine on the right hand side of the chemical equation. Now we've answered a lot of questions and it was fun for me. I hope it was as fun for you as it was for me. But then before we continue, we are quickly going to take an ad break and I'll see you just after this. <laughs> 